Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Seabin's House. I am your host, Second Under, and today, since I missed my literary project, um, Second Under's book club, I'll be reviewing a little poem a guy called Kel Benson wrote called Englishy. It looks like Englishy people. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead with that. Oh, um, I'm just wearing this little flag, um, this rainbow, because it's still Pride Month. And, um, yeah, June is Pride Month. Um, thanks. Uh, he looks like he's ready, and he claps his hands. <laughs> like, oh, what? Wow. Um, just wow. Let's move on a little bit. I thought they would say, Have you had a breakfast muffin today? <laughs> Have you had a breakfast muffin today, people? Have you? Let's move on. It's still not what? Yes, Queen. And all they do is smile and nod. They didn't even call me an ass. What was that? What I did not understand. <laughs> Okay, let's move on a little bit. Um, yeah. They wouldn't even throw the sandals in the bin. So Englishy that even the words. What are you doing? But nice body stuff. Hello, horse and things like that. How they speak the words that you can't. I hate the darn English. They can't even spell probably. They can't spell probably. Or maybe are. Yeah, let's move on. Word play. Word play. <laughs> and at the end, he claps for himself. Well done, guy. You went for it. You went for it. And all I can say is you can be proud. On that note, people, I'd just like to say, if you fancy that, or if you want to do something like that, or if you want him to do something like that, why don't you send us your poems and like let him do something for you, you know? Um, other than that, I've just got to say furthermore that I love y'all. And I prepared something even more special for you guys. I've prepared a little master class and I hope you enjoy this one. Um, get ready and yeah, I second under will show you the way. So, I've got to say that this can be your start or your end point. Or maybe even this can be your start or your end point. The thing is, people, no matter where you start or where you end, it's all the same. So, what I'm trying to say is that one thing connects to another 
and the next connects to that. And one day, you could be a whole house or you could be a pile of rubble. But no matter where you are in life, you gotta stand strong. You gotta fix yourself in the mirror every now and then. You gotta look your best. Sometimes you may look your worst, but eventually you'll get somewhere and take those steps with pride. Sometimes I say to myself, Second Under, look at you. Look at me. I look with pride. And sometimes people tell me, No, Second Under, you ain't the most beautiful. Sometimes they say, Second Under, you ain't the most fabulous. And <laughs> sometimes they even say, why the hell are you doing what you're doing? But let me tell you people, I built myself up from nothing. They may even tell me that this is stupid, this shit ain't funny, this is just... Second under, what the hell? What the hell? Are you stupid or are you arrogant? I tell them sometimes, I'm just arrogant, but remember this, I have earned the right to be arrogant. Sometimes people say you're just a stick, but no, I am not a stick. I am a plank connected to another plank. A plank connected to another, then another. I am a door. No, I am a whole fucking house, people. Yeah, so what if you say I'm arrogant? I am. But I have earned the right to be arrogant. So, yeah. So, I just want to say... Even if you're lost and you can't find your way, it's all good. Look at what I have achieved. Oh well, look at the image of me. I am a freaking house, I said. And, well, <laughs> I have earned the right to be arrogant. Look, a whole house. I built from the bottom. One plank connected to another plank, connected to another plank, connected to another. And I have achieved. I am not arrogant because this is my achievement and this is my pride. I have earned the right to be arrogant. And thank you.